So how is it going? Dank Division, Dank Dan here. Let's talk about the two things that have people pretty much having a little bit of a discussion as of right now in regards to Warzone 2. The first of which, let's get the major one out of the way. You can finally buy your loadouts at the buy station. Now granted, this is no cheap feat because what they ended up doing was having it cost an arm, a leg, your soul, your first child. Hell, I'm pretty sure that if it cost any more, I would probably start nicknaming it my student loans because dear God does it cost a lot. Now granted, in the past I have talked about loadouts, in which case I have expressed my concern, not because I am against loadouts existing, but because I'm against the idea of the same five content creators deciding what weapons everyone's going to be using. So as of right now, the buy station prices stand. If you're playing solos, your loadout will cost 8,000. And for every single additional teammate, so duos, trios, quads, will increase by an additional 8,000. So duos should be 16,000, trios 24,000, and quads 32,000. Now, my big thing is... I'm, again, not against loadouts. If I had to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't mind if, let's say, that's the price at the first circle and it slowly decreases. So that you have to kind of sit there and decide, do you get your loadout when it's at its most expensive, get it early? In which case, God help you if you could actually manage to get 32000 in a uh, quads match, or do you wait until it's lower and lower and lower until you can actually afford it? Or... Do you save it so that it's cheaper and you can get something like that plus a UAV or that plus anything else? So, that's number one. Then we have something that pissed off a lot of people. That, of course, being Building 21. Building 21 went live yesterday. Somewhere around, I want to say like 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that general area. And then 24 hours later, it's gone. So it's kind of like South Park, and it's gone. So that created a giant problem. Why? Because let's face it, the second we heard it went live, there were a lot of people working nine to five, people sitting in classes, whether it be teachers or students, people who have a day life so that they can game at night, or they're waiting for that day off, which might just happen to be the holidays. And instead, they all of a sudden tune in and go, oh, well, that was great. You had 24 hours. You weren't going to, you know, tell us this. You were just going to expect us to figure it out that at 24 hours, you were going to lock it again. Now, here's the thing. I question if it's intentional because all of a sudden they're like, oh, well, we locked it for reasons. From what I pieced together, people who went into building 21 were not having their cards taken away afterwards meaning they could go in over and over and over again and that's not the intention it's supposed to be a one-time use so i'm willing to question if they actually pulled it after 24 hours because they all of a sudden realized that something that was supposed to work didn't so with that being said i want to hear you guys in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on the loadout do you think that it should decrease in price as the circle gets smaller what are your thoughts on content creators who pretty much only ever cover the meta and do you think that is honestly something that you hope to see with warzone 2 let's be perfectly honest i don't because i got a little sick and tired of seeing the same five names dictate what people are going to be using and watching 50 plus weapons turn into three being the only thing used so looking forward to reading that comment section down below don't forget to drop a like leave a comment click that subscribe button all of you guys out there you guys have a wonderful day night whatever you're doing do it wholeheartedly and this is dank dan signing off get them to click that subscribe button dank it's the only way we can figure out the numbers what do the numbers mean dank we're wasting valuable time